You are not supposed to be telling a lie no matter what, whether you put your hand anywhere. You're not supposed to be telling a lie. You don't have to justify by uttering such nonsense. Astaghfirullah. Your word is supposed to be truthful, even if you just had your hands down. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Look at how shaitan comes to mankind to try and make him justify the wrong he's doing by hook or crook. Subhanallah. And in Cape Town, the snook. My brothers and sisters, we should never be telling a lie. Bearing false witness is dangerous. It is something that will come back to haunt us at some stage. And you know, sometimes we do something. We feel that, okay, this was okay, I got away with it. You have not yet got away with it. You need to repent, seek Allah's forgiveness and seek forgiveness from those whom you have wronged. Because if you don't, I promise you, the circle will close. It's going to come back to you and it will haunt you. You know, they say, Kama tadinu tudanu. How you shall do to others so, it shall be done unto you. The type of, the type of debt you have is the type of debt you shall actually get. The credit you give is the is what you shall get. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. You know, in the English language, the term is, you, what you sow, you reap, or you reap what you have sown. Same applies. Remember, it's going to come back to you. So how does it come back to us? It comes back to us through health problems, family problems, financial problems, stress, so many other things. We are suffering, lack of contentment, no sleep. We don't know what to do. We don't know what's the problem. Have you ever born false witness against someone? If the answer is yes, perhaps that's come to haunt you. May Allah forgive us. I'm not saying every time you're sick, you need to think, hey, this is what happened. But a true mu'min is such that whenever something goes wrong in his life, within himself or herself, he quickly ticks off the checklist. You know what that means? Have I paid my zakat? Yes, I have. Have I wronged someone? No, I haven't. Have I fulfilled my obligation unto Allah? Yes, I have. Did I do this? Yes. Have I done this? No. Okay, that's where, maybe that's where I went wrong. So it's a checklist. You've got to do that. It does not necessarily mean that Allah is punishing you. No, but it could mean that. You see? It could mean. So just like when you have a sickness, I have a sore throat, for example. I was wondering if I was going to be able to stand up and speak in front of you today. But Alhamdulillah, it happened by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have to ask myself, have I been having some cold drinks after taraweeh? So if I find something wrong, I need to deal with it. I cannot keep on having medication and keep on doing that, which is going to cause a bigger problem and not resolve it. Same applies in our lives. Spiritually, we want to get close to Allah. We keep on doing some sin that we have not quit. How do we want goodness in our lives when we haven't stopped that? You are having an antibiotic known as tawbah. You, you perhaps are having medication known as your salah and the Quran and so on and the good deeds, but you keep on committing that particular sin that is keeping you bogged down and sick spiritually. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. I hope we've understood that. So therefore, we need to quit these type of things because they come back to haunt us. So much so that Allah says, not only bearing false witness, you know, bearing false witness is so serious. When the Prophet ﷺ counted the major sins, he was lying on his bed. And he was counting al-ishraq billah, uquq al-walidayn, etc. Then he got up. Kana muttaki'an fajalasa. He was laying down, he sat up. He says, Ala wa qawlu zuri wa shahadatu zur. He says, behold, to utter that which is false and to bear false witness is a major sin. It's not a minor sin, it's major.